how would you like to come home and find your Hummer a fire? The biggest challenge with this project is managing the media. This is a massive amount of digital video from so many different sources that we, are at, we have to split the projects up to multiple analysts. So what we have here is we have this interoperable environment where we can share uh, video information, we can share uh, the codex with people, then they will process their little pieces of it. We then reconsolidate that back into a finished product. When we first arrived in the lab, the Vancouver Police and the IRIT team, the Integrated Riot Investigation Team, brought boxes of evidence. It was primarily digital and we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of exhibits all with multiple uh, formats. So their video acquisition, their digital acquisition officers went out into the field and they've seized these you know, almost 2,000 hours of, of video evidence. When it came here, it was on so many different formats that there was no standard way to process the video. So for the majority of the video, we've used this little tool. This is sort of unique. It's the first time that it's been used for this level of investigation. This allows us to uh, uh, screen scrape, in essence, um, all of this video evidence. We're able to put it into folders and then at, during night shift, the night shift comes in and does a batch process to um, convert the raw data into OMV files that we can then bring into our systems. So this is sort of a unique tool. It's expedited our workflow probably tenfold. We have so much information that we need to process by coming here. We have all these people here trained, going through, we have three shifts daily, um, just going nonstop processing this information. And they'll, they'll do in two weeks what would take us probably two years to do. These uh, analysts who are here have been handpicked because they're either certified technicians, certified analysts, or they have a great deal of experience uh, working with video evidence of all kinds, both analog and digital. They come primarily from Canada, but we have a lot from the United States, we have a few from the UK. So these analysts have uh, had a lot of experience here in getting trained here in the Leva Lab. We're able to, to hit the ground running with these people. We haven't gotten anything like this in the UK. Uh, we, you know, we wouldn't be able to deal with this amount of CCTV footage um, in the UK. Like we, we count only there's 20 stations. Uh, each one of them uh, has been in use since the day we started. Uh, so I think it'd be pretty good and it would be a good idea for somebody to seriously consider it. As far as video evidence is concerned, the issues of authentication, of admissibility in court, are really universal among most uh, Western countries. So certainly the United States, Canada, the UK will share all the same legal issues uh, regarding admissibility, regarding chain of custody, and so there, there's nothing different that these analysts would experience here that they don't experience at home. The analysts here have two primary jobs. Uh, process the video to get it into this interoperable uh, work storage environment so that we can then share the information. Once it's in that environment, their next job is to tag suspects committing criminal offenses. So the tagging process um, uh, ensures that each individual is tagged with the same information. So if somebody's wearing a, a dark shirt, the, it would be an O2, that's dark. Light was O1. So each of these particular descriptions of clothing fit into a particular uh, column, they're coded in a certain way, so that back in Vancouver the investigators will have a suspect, they know how that person's dressed, they can then enter that code to, to search throughout all of the video and all of those hits that come up will isolate hopefully that person or people dressed like that person. This is the first time certainly in North America that a single investigation has had this much video from so many different sources. So this is a monumental task, it's unprecedented anywhere. This is the only facility in the world that can handle this kind of a collaborative uh, investigation with video evidence. So we've come here for that purpose. It's certainly unparalleled and there's no other facility that can handle it. When I leave here, I'm going to uh, take with me a tremendous sense of accomplishment that we've really been able to help uh, the Vancouver Police Department and the people of Vancouver to accomplish what they want, which is to uh, make sure that the people who are responsible and participated in that riot back in June are charged appropriately. Just to get the experience and of course the opportunity is um, phenomenal to be here and help out and with something this large on this scale, hope we never have to do it. Once we're done here, we're going we're gonna to have all the information of course put onto a database back at home. Every, every suspect that we have is assigned an investigator who knows what's happened, who knows all the events surrounding that suspect and they will go in and search by a clothing criteria, any other kind of criteria, if they're wearing a logo. And the point being, we want to know what each person who's done a criminal act, what they've done throughout the whole night, 
gather all the evidence and submit to Crown for charges. When this lab was first put together, we knew that it was a great resource in, in the event of a large-scale uh, investigation or a terrorist attack or something that involved the seizure of a significant amount of video evidence. So we put together a forensic video analysis response team that would be available to any member agency or to the federal government uh, if it were required to, to uh, be activated for this kind of an event. So uh, what this investigation has done is really validated that that process works, that this kind of an interoperable uh, environment where we can uh, securely tie all the evidence together, we can share it with multiple analysts. Uh, this has really uh, shown that that works.